This video describes how to set up iOS switch control using a Bluetooth BLE device connected to three push buttons. Here's the schematic of the circuit that we used in this particular project. Go to learn.adafruit.com at the URL below or linked in the description to find out how to wire up this device or other similar devices to use iOS switch control. This demonstration is on iPad Mini 2. First we're going to go into settings and then into Bluetooth. Hit the pair button on your Bluetooth device. Initially it will show up in the list of devices as a keyboard, but eventually it will switch over and identify itself as an Adafruit Easy Key device. You may have to click on the device to get it to connect. I think in this case it connects automatically because we've already used this device before. Now we are going to configure the switches. Go to General and then Accessibility and then at the bottom Switch Control. Note that the tap behavior is set to default and the scanning mode is set to manual. Now click on switches. You can see we have zero switches defined. Add a new switch. External. And now press the center switch for the select button. When it recognizes it, it asks you to label it and we will type in select. And then we will save that. Now here's where we tell it what action that switch is to perform. And it's select item. Now we add another switch. External. Press the rightmost switch button. We will label it as right. It will advance the scan to the next item in the list. And we select move to next item. Now we add the third button, add new switch, external, and then we press the left switch button, and we label it as the left. And the function we choose is move to previous item. And now we're done. Now we go back to switch control and we turn switch control on. Everything that we've done up till now had to be done manually on the touch screen. The remainder of this video was done entirely using the three switches that we just configured. Notice that anytime we select an item, it gives us an option to tap or to do something else. I'll show you how that works. Here we're not going to tap, we're going to go to other menus and we're going to hit the home button. That takes us back to the main screen. Now let's try looking for some music in the iTunes store. We press right, right, select, right, right, select, and then select again to tap. Now we're going to go into the search box in the upper right corner. When we click on it, it brings up the keyboard. Let's look for some Pink Floyd. Note that every time that we select a key, we have to select again to tell it to tap. There is an option that we will set later on that says that when you're using the keyboard, always presume that you want to tap. Better yet, there's another option that says always presume that you want to tap no matter where you are. The problem with that is how do you get to other functions besides forwards, backwards, and select? We can do that by using long presses instead of short taps. When we get through with this search, we will go back and show you how to configure our three switches for long presses 
That will give us a total of six functions using just three buttons. Instead of pressing select again to tap on the search box, we press the right key and then press enter and we will get a new set of options available to us. The one that we want is to press the home button. When we press that, now we're back to the main screen. Now we click on settings. Go to general, accessibility, switch control. Now we go down to the option to always tap for keyboard keys. And we will turn that on. Next we will enable the long press option. We turn it on. We're also given the opportunity to define how long a long press is. The default of one second is generally good. Go back to switch controls. Now we go back to switches. We will select our select switch. And we see that there is now an option for an additional function under long press. And we will go select scanner menu. Now we will go back to switches and back to switch control. And we're going to change the default tap behavior to always tap. Go down to tap behavior. And select always tap. Now we're going to go back and add a long press function to the right and the left switches as well. Notice that as we are selecting various options, we no longer have the tap option come up again. It selects the option immediately when we press the select switch. Note that the select option says multiple items on the right key or the right switch rather. We're going to select the long press and we're going to assign that to the home button. Even though you can hit the home button off of the scanner menu, sometimes it's easier to just hit a long right button and get directly to the home function. We're going to the left switch and let's define the long press for the left switch to activate Siri. In order to get to the Siri option, we need to scroll down. So at this point right here, we press a long press of the select, and that brings up the scanner menu. Then we can scroll, get out of the scrolling menu, and then we can select the Siri option. Now we will do a long press of the right switch and that will take us back to the home screen. Now I'm doing a long press of the left switch to call up Siri. I have to select the microphone and I ask Siri who's playing in the Super Bowl. And promptly Siri tells me. 
Now we're doing a long press on the right switch. Get back to the home screen. And that concludes our demonstration. For more information, visit learn.adafruit.com or my personal blog, tech.cyborg5.com.